guys, welcome back to Code It All, and today I'm going to be starting with, I mean, sort of like a CSS tidbits, but I'm dropping the whole Monday thing, I'm just going to do it, like, you know, randomly, sometimes, whenever I feel like I want to introduce something small in CSS to you guys, I'm going to make a tidbit video, so this is one of them, and I want to introduce CSS Clamp to you guys, it, it allows for amazing responsive stuff without having to use media queries for the most part. And uh, this can help in width, topography, font sizes, font weights, all of that. Uh, it really helps in all that. But the best use case is actually in font sizes, that, as you'll see in the video. So in case you want it, so responsive topography, here we go. In case you guys want to uh, express your appreciation for all my videos and feel like you can really get some target, something out of it, please consider subscribing and liking and sharing the sharing my videos. And... Yeah, go ahead and subscribe down there if you're, if it's your first time. Especially do that. And in my index.html, I have the boilerplate code and the link tag for my font uh, for my Google font, which is basic. And the uh, link tag and, and the link tag to my style CSS with the title of CSS Clamp. And I have a H1 with saying CSS Clamp is absolutely fantastic with a paragraph tag with all of my paragraph text and I have a style.css with not much styling it just says box as in equals the butter box and then uh, and then in the body it selects the font it selects the font uh, family and the title it just changed the color so right here what I want to do is I want to change I want to make the I want to make it I want the I want the font size of the title to be responsive so what I'm going to do is font size and the way you want to use clamp is just go Say clamp and parentheses, kind of like a JavaScript, but eh, it's just CSS. It's just it's just a CSS value. Uh, it's just a CSS function you can call it. So we can insert the minimum value, the desirable value, and the maximum value. So the minimum value for my title, I want it to be two rem, and I want it to be five viewport width and seven rem. So this is the minimum and the actual desirable value, and this is the maximum value I want it to be. So uh, we can change this into responsive mode. Two REM is probably too big, but uh, or or maybe it's five viewport width. We want to make it small. Uh, make it like you know hundred and start with that. So you see, this is how big it gets. Two REM. This is how big it is. And uh, once we, I mean, it tries to get to the values. You see, you see the. Uh, words growing see the font you see the size of it growing it's pretty it's really awesome i really love it so it's absolutely fantastic you can use it in that way and i also want to make the paragraph font size responsive so i'm just going to go select the paragraph and go for the font size clamp and i want its font size to be 1.5 rem and then three viewport width with about 5 rem so seems you know comparable make it smaller this is how small it gets and it goes bigger and bigger but i don't want it to start out so big i don't want it to be 1.5 rem just probably one rem would be good hundred so this is how small it gets and it's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow so this is how it goes. It's really, I really love this. I really love this thing. It's totally awesome. I may push this down a little bit to four. So this is the way the font size grows. Font size shrinks. Font size goes awesome. Font size goes amazing. And then uh, we also, you know, have we go with this. Uh, and there are also special cases. I mean, I'm gonna link down some documentation for this. If you want, you can check that out. I mean, there are cases where at a particular thing, at a particular font size, it stops. I'm gonna be linking that, but we could try that right here too. I'm gonna change to two and a three. So it goes like one, two, three, you know? Uh, seems okay. We can make it larger. You see, it doesn't grow that much. And yeah, it's perfect. You know, if we keep on making it, if we kept on making it larger, it would actually. Uh, uh, I understand it. We might not want to include viewports for our desirable size. We want. We might want to include REMs. Uh, so I'm just gonna go change this five REM and put this here. So it might stop actually. This is the desirable size. This will probably work. 
if I'm not wrong. I'm gonna change it to 3v port width. So we see the difference. If we can see the difference, it'll be great. So make it larger, it goes larger. And uh, you see here, this is practically, it doesn't, it doesn't grow at this size, but then it starts growing at a particular size to start adapting to bigger screen sizes. This is the way CSS Coin Pork, it provides us with responsive typography, widths, and so on. Pretty sure you can find some uh, use cases of your own, and you'll probably love it. If you have any others, please put them down in the comments below, and I really love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it's your first time, please do subscribe, and like, and share it to other people, and, and enrich the world of coding. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.